Hi everyone, I'm Thomas from the Babylon JS team. In this video, we're going to move away a little bit from 3D and discover a different usage uh, of the engine. Of course, first and foremost, the Babylon engine is for 3D. But since it's a unified API on top of uh, WebGL, WebGL2, and WebGPU, we can also use it to render 2D experiences uh, accelerated with the power of the GPU. So making 2D experiences, uh, specific use case, of course, much faster and much smoother. That's uh, what we aim to do with the Babylon JS controls. Let's take a look. So uh, one landing point, uh, one landing page, one entry point is the control.babylonjs.com page. Uh, that's where you'll find uh, the current controls. Today we have three. We're going to keep growing this number. Maybe also the community can um, grow this. One uh, thing to mention also before I go into uh, explaining this is that we're in beta for now, so things may change a little bit. Um, so make sure uh, you have this in mind if you start uh, using this. Uh, we will make sure to enforce the backward compatibility uh, once we get to a stable version. Let's start with the first uh, control, the timeline. Uh, the timeline is, um, you know, like the name is, is saying, it's a rendering a, a timeline. What's very specific here is um, the thumbnails. Look how smooth, how easy it is to navigate through the thumbnails here. Uh, and that's really possible because of uh, uh, Babylon Engine and, and accessing the, the GPU here. If I go back to the second control we have, it's called the resizer, and uh, I don't even need to click uh, inside. It's it's really about taking an image and uh, uh, changing the size of the image. Think of this control as a, a tool uh, used for other controls. We can uh, compose, you can con compose controls, and it's used by the timeline control to generate the small, uh, um, uh, to, to resize the small, uh, uh, thumbnails here. And again, because it's GPU and because the context, WebGL context is shared, it's going very fast. Third example is the image filter control. And I'm going to click and we're going to spend the rest of the video talking about this control. So let's go down. We have three examples. We'll start from the first one at the bottom here. I'm clicking processing. It's a little bit hidden by the, by the video here. Um, so this control is all about taking image, or it could also actually be videos, and applying filters. Um, so different effect on those on those videos, and we can do this again very fast thanks to uh, thanks to the GPU access. So we're taking an image here, a logo, and we're putting a pre-existing filter, uh, changing the saturation of this um, of this image. Then uh, second example. Um, is actually taking a 2D canvas uh, at an entry. Think about if you want to use some drawings uh, and applying an existing filter, which is simple black and white, as you can see, uh, as you can see here. Third example, a little bit more um, sophisticated. Um, you can see here two things. Firstly, it's real time. Um, so we're doing this by uh, updating the uh, parameter, the effect variables in real time there. Uh, and also it's uh, using a custom filter, a custom shader. Um, we're going to take a look at this, but it's taking a texture and it's inverting the, R, the red and blue um, channels progressively. But let's look under the hood how this is being done and this, how is, this is being used, uh, uh, how we use the controls. So at the top of the page here, we see that we are importing uh, the controls, the image filter control. Before this, you have to, of course, install the NPN package. Then if you have some existing filters, um, you have to import them here too. That's the black and white we, we, we saw. That's, um, and this one, image processing post process, it's uh, the one for the saturation. By the way, if you want to uh, check the existing controls, it's pretty simple. You have to go um, to see the different filters in the documentation and in the post process. I was there actually already. You have the list of the existing uh, filters, black and white, blur, image processing, 
and uh, possibilities are huge as you can create your, your own too. Going back to the code. If I take the first, the code for the first uh, example here, where we are instantiating um, the control in this line, uh, adding some uh, parameters, see the saturation here at 80, and uh, passing uh, an image. Uh, in this case, it's an image, so it's basically uh, the URL of an image. It could also be a video element, in which case uh, it would take the current visible frame. It could also be a canvas. In this case, it would take the current visible state. Um, so it's really up to you, depending on what you want to do in your uh, in your application, what you want to use it for. And then uh, using the, um, the filter here, that's how it's being processed. In this case, it's being processed to a canvas. But um, so we're displaying the result. But you can also process to a, a texture uh, in the GPU if you want to uh, adding some uh, additional composition on the on the result. The second example was a black and white. So it's using this black and white uh, filter here, uh, post process. So we, that's how we call them there. Um, the big difference there is it's those lines of code we are using, instead of using a, an image to process, we're using a canvas. Um, remember, it's if we want to uh, use some drawing, for instance, to be, um, to be filtered, to be uh, um, transformed. Third example is the one where we're doing two things. Uh, real-time rendering and custom, uh, custom shader. See the custom effect here? It's uh, GSLS code um, that you're passing as a, a as parameter with, with the image uh, to modify. And then you'll see the, uh, where is it here? The render. So it's uh, the rendering method, kind of like the render method for um, the render loop uh, for uh, for the Babylon engine. Uh, that's for the uh, the real time um, the real time piece. Uh, and that's that's it. Very simple to use. Everything is done by the by the controls. And um, think about the possibilities here. Uh, basically, uh, we saw a set of pre existing controls. We saw that we can extend the controls, creating your own uh, code. But uh, think of combining with the um, node material editor that you may have seen in some other videos, where you can uh, very uh, easily and without writing code, create custom filter, custom shaders that you could combine there and add uh, all kind of effects uh, on uh, videos and on uh, images. Thank you for looking at this video. I hope you discover this different usage and you'll, you'll have some crazy idea uh, for um, your applications. Uh, one URL, very simple, controls.babylonjs.com. Thank you. Bye-bye.